and the world's gonna know your name. What's your name, man? Alex and I love Christmas. My name is Alex and I love Christmas. And there's a million gifts I haven't wrapped. Just give me time, please give me time. When he was 10, found out Santa wasn't real. He couldn't deal. Hello. My name is Jack Reese, and with great power, there must also come great responsibility. I'm sure you've heard this statement a million times. It's from the famous comic book, The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number one. It's also been used in many other forms of media ever since 1963. So why has this quote and this character been stuck in our heads for so long? Well, as I was watching Spider-Man 2 for the third time, I had an epiphany. Spider-Man may very well be the most important character in fiction because of his heroism, his morals, and his relatability. First, let's take a look at the spider in Spider-Man. Never forget the hyphen. Because, you see, they are very separate. Spider-Man and Peter Parker are very alike, but they might as well be two different people. Because Spider-Man is everything that Peter Parker isn't. Spider-Man represents the best parts of Peter Parker. He is constantly saving people, doing good deeds for the city of New York, while Peter can barely keep a stable job. Why is this important? Well, Spider-Man is a better role model than Peter Parker. He is the more heroic out of the two, and that is very important for a lot of people. Spider-Man is strong, Peter Parker is a wimp. Spider-Man is cool, Peter is a huge nerd. Spider-Man is responsible, Peter isn't. Ironic. The most important thing Peter has learned from his Uncle Ben is the thing he struggles with the most. So let's look at Peter Parker and Spider-Man's morals, because unlike their personalities, they are the same. Again, the famous phrase about responsibility comes into play here. Spider-Man's entire existence is based around the fact that his uncle stood up for what is right and was killed as the consequence. Therefore, Spider-Man should be a representation of being responsible with your powers. Not that you have super strength or anything, but with what you can do with your life. So we all know Spider-Man is responsible, but he uses that responsibility to be a caring and selfless person. This quote, for example, from The Amazing Spider-Man is a kind of restatement of the first one. If you could do good things for other people, you had a moral obligation to do those things. That's what's at stake here. Not choice, responsibility. For Spider-Man, being responsible and being selfless are the same thing. They should apply to your life and everybody's life as well. Being responsible and accountable for your actions is a very important trait to have. Also, being selfless and putting others before yourself is planted in your brain ever since kindergarten. Have you ever heard the phrase, treat others the way you want to be treated? Well, think about this. If someone was falling off a building, would you swing in and catch them? Now, if you were falling off a building, wouldn't you want Spider-Man to save you? Of course you would. And this is one of the reasons why Spider-Man is so relatable. His heroism speaks to us and is trying to make us feel more confident and selfless. It inspires us. And meanwhile, the opposite side of Peter, the human side, teaches us about life and to persevere. In one of the most critically acclaimed Spider-Man movies, Spider-Man 2, which I have watched three times, Peter Parker has the worst day of his life. He can't pay his rent, and to get money, he has to take pictures of himself, which his boss then uses to slander his name. He fails stopping Dr. Octopus. He goes to a party where his best friend hates him and slaps him in the face. His girlfriend breaks up with him and decides to marry someone else, and then his boss makes him take a picture of her proposal. And after all this, he loses his superpowers. All of this stuff should tear him down, right? If he's supposed to be relatable to us, he would quit being Spider-Man because it's actively ruining his life. But he doesn't. His Aunt May gives him these very important words that lift him back up. 
Sometimes we have to be steady and give up the things we want the most, even our dreams. This is what we should all take away from Spider-Man. Sometimes we can't do whatever we want because we have responsibilities, but you can't let those keep you down. Instead, let it fuel you to be the best you can be. Now, some of you may be asking yourself, Spider-Man is just a comic book, why should I care? But to me and a lot of other people, he's a lot more than that. Spider-Man teaches us to be heroic. He teaches us about responsibility and bravery. But most importantly, he teaches us how to be better people. He may be a fictional hero, but he is at heart, just like us. As Miles Morales said at the end of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, I never thought I'd be able to do any of this stuff, but I can. Anyone can wear the mask. You can wear the mask. If you didn't know that before, I hope you do now. Because I'm Spider-Man. And I'm not the only one. Not by a long shot. I usually don't like it when YouTubers do this, but if you stuck around to the end of this video, you probably like the content that I'm putting up on my channel. And my statistics say that the majority of my viewers are not subscribed yet. So if you haven't subscribed, please do that and turn on notifications. And I will see you in the next video. Farewell.